What's up guys, I just updated all of my iOS devices to iOS 5 beta 2 and in this video I figured that I'm going to show you all of the new features that are included in the beta 2 um, and what you can expect actually in September. They actually updated iOS beta 2 to have a lot more features that weren't included in the beta 1. So let's get to it. As you can see over here I have a lot of notes that I'm going to be going through on my Mac. And I'll be showing you just exactly what you can expect and just demoing some more features that couldn't actually be included in iOS beta 1. So before I begin just to let you know iTunes Beta 2 cannot sync iOS Beta 1 devices, so be sure to update both your iTunes and your iOS to Beta 2 if you have that. And also, if you have iOS Beta 2, you cannot message iOS Beta 1 users using iMessage. Now that I got those two things out of the way, uh, let's get to some of the features. If you can see over here on my Mac, if I actually open up iTunes, um, they have included a new feature that a lot of people have been waiting for, which is probably the main feature in iOS 5 Beta 2, and that is wireless syncing. Now, if you go into settings here and go into uh, general and go to iTunes Sync, um, before you actually can do this, you have to hook up your computer to your iTunes and click Sync over Wi-Fi. As you can see here, I'll go into my iPad. And as you can see, it says sync over Wi-Fi connection is clicked. Now, once you hook up your device using your USB for the first time, you have to click sync over, uh, over Wi-Fi. After you do that, you do not need to do it ever again. And you can simply open up iTunes Sync here on your device. Click sync now. And as long as you're on the same network, you can see that the iTunes is syncing with my iPod and it is actually up here you can see the little circle spinning that means it's syncing so yeah that is basically wireless sync in iOS 5 beta 2 it works really well um, the next feature I'm gonna go ahead and quit iTunes here quit let's go here the next feature that I want to show you is over the air updates now none are currently available but if you go into settings here and then go to software update it actually checks if there's an update and I'll let it load here for you guys it actually checks if there's an update it takes a little while because it is a little slow but there are no updates as of right now but basically as you can see it says your software is up to date no update is required it tells you if there's a software update which is really cool so you can basically update over the air without having to hook up to iTunes which is a great feature that a lot of people have been waiting for uh, another new feature that they've updated is the lock screen. I'm going to go ahead and show you this here now um, by going to iMessage here on my iPad and messaging myself. I'll just say like yo and click send. And you probably heard that. As you can see here on my iPod, um, this is a new uh, notification. As you can see there, it comes up way more prominently. You can read who sent it and read it there. And again, you can scroll down right here to read all of your iMessages. As you can see, simply scroll to the right. It'll take you to that app. So they did update the lock screen to be a lot more user-friendly. And you can see notifications a lot more prominently there. Um, next up, iCloud has a new... Uh, icon in settings if you go to settings here on the iPod you can see that iCloud has been updated to actually have the silver icon rather than the purple icon and uh, just some other minor changes as you can see if you scroll down here in the notification center the stock widget is already is automatically turned off it says no new notifications if you have no new notifications um, also, stock wallpapers are back. Um, the wallpapers in beta 1 were not included. And you, as you can see, um, you can actually pick your wallpaper once again. And other than that, it's just general speed improvements. A lot of the bugs have been killed since beta 1, but those are some new features that were included in beta 2. Uh, wi Fi sync being the main one, the lock screen design, and over the air updates um, are the main three. Um, and yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely click subscribe above the video. Definitely favorite and rate thumbs up down there. It greatly helps me out. I really appreciate the support, guys. And definitely stay tuned for some more iOS 5 um, videos as well as Apple and other technology. And uh, yeah, I will be making videos on that soon. So check out my channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.